Hi, I'm Carrie Kaufman, and here with me today I have Seth Larson, owner of Resilient Roofing. Welcome, Seth. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Now, Resilient is not your first business. You've got another business, and I want you to talk a little bit about your journey entrepreneurially, like from one business to the other and why you're doing what you're doing now. Sure, yeah, no, I, there was never really a plan for it, first of all. <laughs> um, ended up starting a construction company because that's all I knew my whole life. I grew up, my dad was a custom home builder, both brothers are in construction. So I grew up in the trenches, mm. worked my way up to design and sales, production, and ended up starting my own construction company. Well, three or four years ago, you and I met and consulted on basically how to get me out of that company. Mm -hmm. For no other reason than I didn't want to be uh, like some of my other members of the family working 60 hours in a, a job. Week. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, so we successfully did that, and long story short, transferred my wife and I both out of the day to day in that company. Last year, I was down to about 10 hours a week uh, myself, and my wife was out for that construction company. This year, I actually just did a time card, uh, and it's closer to four or five hours per week nice. that I'm into that one. Nice. Then, so the first thing I want to point out there is you were very intentional about that. Yes. And you even, I think you set a deadline. Like, I want to. What I call finish the business, which means that the business is functional, like you know, not relying on you anymore. Yes. So when did that click for you? When it went to not really having a plan, just this is the, what the family does, to deciding that I'm going to finish this and then move on to the next thing. I appreciate you giving me the accolades for that, but that came from you. Uh, <laughs> so I think what I was looking for was to grow something bigger than what our construction company was capable of, and mm -hmm. we talked a lot about scalability. And that particular business model, as much as I love it and it's great and it works really, really well, isn't scalable past a few times yeah. multiple of what it is now. So we had an idea for another company, which could not, I couldn't do both at once in the capacity that I was working in the construction company. Okay. What I mean is I was close to 50 or 60 hours a week in the construction company. To run another one doesn't make any sense. That takes 100 hours right. a week to start yeah. something. So. Um, <laughs> To get me out of it, I, I had to decide on that. That was the only logical next step. So with your help getting me out of that one, allowed us to start the new company. Nice. And you started the new one in a completely different way than you started the first one. Yes. Yeah. Not making any money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the plans for the new company are much further out and are much grander and larger than the first company. But I guess you could say I had the confidence to start that with the information you gave us on how to get me out of the last one, knowing it's possible, right. I guess is what yeah. I'm saying. And uh, so we've began with the end in mind for this new company with growth at the forefront and having uh, processes and systems at the base when there was only two of us. Mm -hmm. Now we're a team of uh, just over 15 and st still growing. After I think we're just a two year and a half. A right. uh, year, year, actually, yeah. not even a year, <laughs> 11 months so far, yeah. Nice. So you've made uh, now conscious investments into this business that you might not have had the, the confidence or the foresight to do in the first business, right? So the, your time. first business was kind of your training ground. It was. Right? It, was it was my baby. And we'll yeah. keep it. Where there's no plans on selling it. Yeah. Uh, even I, the goal for this year is actually to get my involvement in the other company down to two hours a week. <laughs> um, and that one still makes us money. We still do great volume. Yep. We, we almost hit $5 million last year. So it's a real company. Yeah. Um, but pays your lifestyle and all that. Absolutely, yeah. and helps fund the new company's yep. growth too. So the point is knowing that that's possible, setting that aside is what's enabling us and giving us the confidence with you also uh, to build the new company really from the ground up awesome. and pretty, pretty quickly. The other one to clarify started with just me and my wife helping out in the office. Then we had one employee. That was the biggest hump to get over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then two employees, and then now it's a team of 12 yep. uh, in that company now. Nice. And the things that I've noticed about you is that you've become um, really hyper-focused on systems and on people development. Yes. Is there anything in particular you want to say about that that you've learned that's really helping you to scale the second company much, much faster? There is. Yeah. No, it's, it's a frustration of mine to, say, train someone on how to do this or that or... Um, training a new hire and then them leave or someone else does it or so instead we've built the processes around and took a lot of time to do that mm -hmm. but then we can use that process then to train someone so it's a lot more yep. automated you're not doing the same thing one over time or a hundred times oh yeah exactly yeah, yeah. So. awesome well thank you so much for your time today super proud of you and your success and thanks for sharing your tips with business owners because i know it's going to inspire a lot of people absolutely thanks for the opportunity thank you that's a cut sweet nice